Finally, let's list some sub-elements, like the amount of necessary materials for the load-bearing slabs. The logic is similar to the element schedules we created earlier. Open the Scheme Settings dialog and click on the New button. In the Add Schedule Scheme dialog, select Components as Item and type Load-Bearing Slabs as Name. Then click OK. In the Criteria panel, set Slab as Element Type. Add Structural Function from the ID and Categories Criteria group. And set Load Bearing as its value. In the Fields panel, add the following fields exactly in this order. Building Material, Composite, Profile from the Components group. Name from the Building Material group. Skin Component Area and Skin Component Volume from the Components group. Activate the sum for the Skin Component Area and Skin Component Volume fields. When finished, click OK. In the Schedule Formatting panel, check the Merge Uniform Items and Show Headline checkboxes. Double-click on the corresponding tabs on the rulers to fit the width and height of the rows and columns of the list, as you did earlier for the Zones list.